what is going on family it's your girl titana moss and welcome back to my channel if you are new here i talk about sexual wellness fashion lifestyle career entrepreneurship advice so if any of those things are interest to you go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can become a part of the family too and for all my returning viewers hey family what's going on thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl so today, y'all, we are doing another haul. Your girl just been shopping, 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 okay? And I need to sit down square because my bank account is like, girl, you trying it. But I got another haul for you guys. A lot of other random things I just been picking up, but a lot of goodies that I really, really think you guys are going to want to hear about. Um, picked up some stuff from Polo, K Spade, Sephora, Tory Burch, Forever 21, Olive Valet. So it's going to be hopefully not too too long of a haul because i didn't get like a whole bunch of pieces from each place but you know we'll just see how it goes um when i start picking the stuff up or whatever but if you are ready for this video and to see what pieces i got don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and let's get right into it all right y'all so we're gonna start out with like the most least stuff that i have on oh, my bad y'all thought i was out of focus we're gonna start off with the mostly stuff that i have and then we're gonna work our way to the other stuff so the first thing that I have here is some pants I got from Pretty Little Thing. Now I know y'all probably seen these. They're like the leather looking pants and then they have this, oop, the split bottom. And these are what they look like. I'm gonna try to back up a little bit so y'all can see what they'll look like. And of course I have a video clip in here as well, but it has that cute, nice scrunchy area. So it's kind of stretchy. And then the bottoms look like this. And then you get these cute slits on the side. So these are perfect to wear with like sneakers um you can wear these with uh heels or whatnot your heel can pop out on the side real real cute pants um they were very comfortable um i was actually surprised and i was worried they were not going to fit me because i ordered these before but my stupid self wasn't paying attention to the size and i ordered them too tall so um these fit perfect uh they were a little bit kind of loose in the tummy area so i was wondering could i go down to a medium but i'm not sure um if that would have worked just because of the material is like that playtex so i'm gonna just stick with these so uh if you didn't know i did get these in a large and i'm not sure how much i paid for them but as i always do y'all i'm gonna have the uh price and the um size somewhere in the video so you guys can see that as well all right y'all so the next piece i got is from tori birch so tori birch has some really really nice jewelry she just expensive okay i don't go to her as much as i go to k spade because at least k spade she be having sales and stuff but this is what the bags look like. Super, super cute. I got this on a Tory Burch outlet in my area um, in Norfolk. And so I paid $56 for it um, after I got it on sale. Um, but it was originally $99. So I got a little sale on it. But this is what it looks like. It is so cute. It's like this chain necklace. And it has like the T all in it. You know for the toy birch but you know since my name is Tatiana, i like getting her stuff because you know be making me feel like they didn't specifically engrave their stuff for your girl so they got this cute little bar which i really really like this because i have a hard time putting my necklaces on sometimes and clamping it the way i want to so i really thought this idea was cute to do this um hopefully it's focusing y'all but they got the bar and then this is like i said what it looks like so it just has the t logo all on it and it's kind of almost it looks like a choker where you put it on the neck or whatever so super cute and then i got it in gold because i mainly wear gold jewelry but sometimes i wear silver so hopefully y'all can see it there it is okay and then that's what the little bar looks like super cute definitely definitely um i already wore this so that's why it looks like this and then also too i like that when you get something from them they do give you a little dust bag to put um your jewelry in as well so definitely excited to wear that even though i already wore it but you know i'm gonna definitely be wearing that a lot um with the upcoming spring and summer with some of my fits so let's go ahead and get into the next all right y'all so the next place i got some from was y'all should already know k spade god i gotta stay out that store y'all gotta stay out that store um i actually went in there to go get something for my friend and then i ended up buying something for myself too so definitely one of those people but um i got this really really cute handbag oh my gosh this thing is so cute especially for the um summer coming up i can definitely see a cute little outfit going along with this so it does come with that cute chain or whatever um 
This is not one where you could take it off, but I definitely feel like it wouldn't look right if it didn't have the chain up there, so that's fine. Um, but you do get that gold detailing up there. Really, really nice. And then the bag is a nice bright red. Hopefully you guys can see it. The exposure is kind of a little bit too much, so let me see. Okay, there it is. So that's what it looks like. It just has a Kate Spade thing right there. And it's like a cute boxy bag. Um, the inside uh, just has like one area to put your stuff in. Very spacious bag though for it to be so little. You get pockets on both sides of the bag as well. And then you also get that metal compartment. So um, definitely, definitely plan on, like I said, rocking this for the spring and summer. This is such a cute little dainty bag or whatever that I'm going to add to my collection. Kind of reminds me of a book a little bit. Um, this bag was a normally $239, y'all. Guess how much I paid for it. $65. So that's half, not even half, that's more than half of what this bag would have cost, regular price. So I highly recommend guys, if you're looking to get like some nice goods, case spade or just other little things too, like polo, uh, Tory Burch, all that, check out your outlets first before you go into the actual store or online, cause they be having some really, really good deals in it and you can use like military discount, student discount, and other kind of discounts on top of the discounts that they already have on the, um, items in the store so that is this cutie all right y'all moving right along the next place where i got something from is yes ma'am sephora um y'all okay y'all gotta go watch my vlog or whatever because i was on a perfume hunt for this perfume for like about a good two weeks and nobody had it and at first i didn't want to get it because it was too expensive i ain't even gonna lie to y'all but i caved because i was like it smells so good the lady should have never sprayed it on me in sephora but i just could not when she sprayed it on me that day, I just couldn't leave it. I could not leave it, y'all. So I went back uh, probably about a couple days later. They didn't have it. They only had the um, original version of it because it does come in different versions and stuff. But ended up going to like four different stores. And finally, I found this in a store in Richmond. Um, but yes, this is what it is, y'all. Um, this is the brand is Victor and Rolf. Um, hopefully, I'm saying that right. Um, Victor or Rolf. And this is Flower Bomb Nectar. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of this. Okay, there it is. Ever heard of this? But um, I never heard of this brand. But apparently this uh, brand um, perfume was inspired by. I don't know if y'all ever heard the song by Wale. Lotus Flower Bomb. That's where this came from. Okay. So I did not know that. Um, so I thought that was really, really cool or whatnot. Maybe that's why a lot of people was buying it. But that song is old as dirt now. So I don't know. Anyways. Um, so the one I got, like I said, is the Flower Bomb Nectar. This does come in different versions. This one was my favorite, though. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys how much I paid for it. Of course, I'm going to have it on the screen, too. Um, but after tax, it was $127. And I got the 1.7 Fluent Ounce one. So that's pricey, okay? That is really, really pricey. But I'm telling y'all, this perfume smells so good. I'm um, not really good with scent descriptions. Let me see if it says it in here, uh, the scent description. Okay, I don't see it, but I do plan on doing a perfume haul soon because I think I have a decent amount of perfume now to do one. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But this is what the packaging looks like. Super, super cute. It's kind of like literally like a flower. You open it up. Oh, and then it comes out like that. So that's what the inside looks like. And then this is what the perfume looks like. Super cute bottle. You got like the little flower up there. Trying to let it focus. So y'all can see it. But yes, this perfume smells so good, y'all. It's such a sensual and sexy smell. It kind of feels like it has like tonka bean, uh, vanilla, um, coffee. Like, I can't really figure out the right description for it. If I look it up, I'll put it on the screen. But like I said, definitely check out my perfume haul or be on the lookout for my perfume haul that I'm going to do because I'm going to be doing that soon. But just go on your local beauty uh, Sephora or whatever, Ulta, and smell this and tell me what y'all think because it is the bomb, okay? All right, so next we're going to um, do the stuff that I got from Forever 21. So I already wore this shirt too. Um, so I'm not sure how much it costs. Cause I ripped the tag off, but I think it was like either 15 or $20. I'll have it on the thing. So this uh, shirt is like a graphic tee and it has a Leah up there, the queen. 
I thought this was super cute. My friend actually picked this out, and then I was like, uh-uh, honey. I want that. So, <laughs> I ended up, ooh, excuse me, y'all. Ended up getting it, and it was big. It's in a large, and I wanted to wear it as a dress, but didn't work out that way. But it's still a super cute shirt. I might answer the picture on how I already paired it, but... I wore this with those uh, leather pants from Pretty Little Thing or whatever. But this is just a cute graphic tee. Definitely um, am into graphic tees when it comes to wearing it with sneakers. Or just even like a nice thigh high boot if you get like an oversized one. You can do a lot of different things with graphic tees. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Um, they're super comfortable and cute. And always on trend if you ask me. You can never go wrong with a graphic tee in your um, clothing collection. So the next thing I got is, I ought to be ashamed of myself because we about to be in the spring, but I picked up another sweater, but I just couldn't leave it. It was so, so cute, and y'all know pink is my favorite color. So it just says gratitude up there, which, you know, I am very grateful for all the things that I have in my life. So I just couldn't leave this there. The color was screaming, and then I just liked it, the words, and how they, it was a different kind of pink. But this is what it looks like. So it kind of has a material of, like, very um, styrofoamy. So those kind of sweaters are more like structured and more like stiff. Um, so this is a really, really good solid kind of sweater for the fall and the winter, which you know is not really gonna do me too much justice right now, but I'm gonna try to get my wear in it before it starts to transition. But this is what it looks like. Definitely fit a little tight on your girl um, in certain areas or whatever, or look kind of like blocky, but you know, the shirt is still cute um, and it's still gonna get worn, okay? Um, and i got this in a small i wish i would have got it in a medium or a large but i think this is the only one they had and it was 19.99 if you're curious so that's that okay the next thing i got was these shorts y'all so i thought these were super cute i love plaid and stripes and polka dots and um i definitely see myself wearing these with the spring coming up now these were a little tight i'm not gonna lie I got some thick thighs, so, you know, my thighs were screaming a little bit. I definitely probably could have went up to an extra large. I don't know if they had that, though, but this is a large, um, and it has a nice scrunchy top, so thank God that they did have this, because if it wasn't for this, if they had, like, just a button, oh, I know I wouldn't have been able to button it. But this is our super cute. They got the pockets on the back. So it kind of looks like a sailor, you know, with the stripes or whatever, blue and white, very on trend with summer and stuff. Um, and the material is like a kind of like woven kind of clo cloth, um, very soft, very nice. So I'm not sure if I'm going to take these back and get a, um, get a bigger size or not, but we'll see. So I definitely, definitely like these and I think these will be super cute to rock in the spring and summer. Even with that red case bed band I got too. I got so many different outfit ideas y'all. Y'all just be on the lookout, okay? Cause the lookbooks, all that stuff is coming. So the next thing I got, I honestly don't even know why I got this shirt, but I just thought it was cute because I'm really into Zodiac signs and learning different things about them. And it says Cocktail Zodiac. So it has all the Zodiac signs up there, but different cocktails um, according to your Zodiac sign. So this is what it looks like. It's like this cute peachy shirt. I got it in a medium. So it's a little bit on the bigger side. Not sure what I'm going to wear this with, but I just thought it was a cute one. Let me see what mine is because I'm an Aquarius, y'all. Oh, I got a glass of wine. That fits me perfectly. So that's what mine says. And then, you know, it got some other ones up there. But, you know, I'll have the thing in the video, too, so you guys can see what yours is or whatnot. But really, really nice shirt. Graphic tee. Can't go wrong with it. If I did not already say what the price was, it's $14.99. And it's in this taupe color. But to me, it looks like a peach. So that is that shirt. All right, and the last thing I got from Forever 21, which I had seen a uh, role model. I follow her up here. Go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Love the way she dresses. Um, she had recently bought some stuff in the Barbie collection. I didn't even know nothing about this crap. So I was late to the party for real. So I ended up being able to snag this online. This is the only thing I was able to find in my size. I guess they already been came out with it and this stuff is sold out. But it's this cute little hat. I don't know if y'all ever heard of like the Kango hats people used to wear. I definitely plan on buying one of those soon because I got an outfit idea for that. But um, that's kind of like what it reminds me of. So it's this cute uh, pink fuzzy Barbie hat. And, um, yeah, I just think it's so, so cute. Like, I love pink. It has Barbie on the front. It's fuzzy, very soft and comfortable. And it's a very sturdy feeling hat. Like, it doesn't feel cheap at all. 
very nice and structured um it came on this little dome cap thing so i think i'm gonna keep it up there to help keep it shape but yeah this is what it looks like y'all so this is gonna be such a cute uh head to wear in the uh spring as well with a nice pink outfit or something definitely to pop it out accessories are definitely something that i'm starting to get into more hats and more belts and stuff i definitely feel like it helps to pop and make your outfit look more better or sometimes when you feel like you're missing something you just need a good belt or a hat to set it off um this hat i believe was 20 dollars, but you already know i'm gonna have it um somewhere in the video how much i paid for it all right and last but not least um my stuff i got from polo oh i lied child i still got some stuff from olive Olay too okay well we're gonna do the polo first we're gonna do the polo first so um first thing i got was this head so i thought this was so cute because i've never seen a polo head look like this and this is a polo bear um hat so if you did not know polo bear is um more of like an exclusive collection when it comes to uh the ralph lawrence and um most of the time it's never on sale like <laughs> never on sale and it's way more expensive so that's the only downfall about it but the pieces be so dope it's like you just gotta splurge one time so i'm gonna have you know insert a clip of what it looks like on my head so i paid 59.50 for this um it's in this navy color and then it just has these different um things all over it and then you got the college bear up there and then that's what the back looks like so super dope hat can't wait to wear this i've been really really getting into hats lately like i said and just accessories in general so definitely can't wait to wear this um i got this bucket polo hat this one is super super nice too i've been looking for a really good um bucket hat and this is perfect it fits nice it's not too tight on the head um it's in this navy blue color and then you just got the white polo horses all around the head and it says polo this is what it looks like all the way around um this one was 59.50 i don't think this one was on sale either the only one i got on sale is the one on my head um which i got that one too i'll explain that in a second but yeah definitely definitely i feel like worth the money quality comfortable on the head and it's going to be really nice in pictures and the next one i got is the one y'all see on my head so i just got the classic black polo head um with the white um symbol in the middle or whatever now this is the only one that i got on sale um i think this one was normally like 30 dollars, but let me double check okay so yeah so this hat is normally 45 dollars, but it was 25 percent off so i think i paid 30 dollars for it so this was the only thing i got i believe on sale if i'm not mistaken so your girl spent some coin in polo but this is what the hat looks like but i've been i need some more hats or whatever just a throw on lazy days i don't feel like laying my hair down if i got a wig on or i got weave or something so this is what this looks like nothing special with it just a black and white polo hat can't go wrong with it and then the last thing i got from polo is this polo bear shirt so i got this out the men's section um this time instead of the boys the boys didn't have nothing in there that i wanted or i didn't already have so that's why i didn't get nothing from the boys section but like i told you guys in my last haul if you didn't see it you can get stuff out of the uh boys section the little boy section and just get it in the larger size and more than likely it can fit just depending on how big you are in your upper torso but this is what this one looks like it's just a gray polo bear shirt and it has the polo bear up there with the red sweater and the boots so i thought this was cute to wear probably even with that red bag i just got too um now i got this in a small and i thought it was going to be a little oversized since it was in the men's section but it was a little tighter than what i wanted it to be as y'all gonna see in the video so i might go back and get this in a medium if they do still have it and this one was 55 dollars, and like i said i did not get it on sale because polo bear they don't do sale on it unfortunately but still a nice dope t-shirt to wear um especially with the spring and the summer coming up definitely got some ideas for this last time i got stuff from is from olive olay so i don't know if every state has olive olay but i know that you know we got it here in virginia and i really really like this store um you know to get like quick little club outfits or just nice little outfits in general you go in the um out to eat or if you go in you need a, like a dinner outfit just a it's just a, like kind of like i feel like a party store like you go in there to get something a going out outfit pretty much that's what it is it's a little ratchet but you gonna find some goods in there trust me so the first thing i got was like this light blue um off the shoulder kind of corset shirt so i thought this was super cute with the spring coming up 
definitely plan on wearing like some high-waisted shorts or a cute high-waisted pants maybe like a bell-bottom jean with this too um love the sleeves on this it was a little tight i'm not gonna lie like as far as getting it on but once i got it on i felt like i was good to go i probably would have got this in a larger day header but this was the last size i had so i just sucked it up um this was a medium and like i said i think it's probably more so that corset area that kind of made it hard to um get on but you can also uncorset it and then uh do it back up again and this one was 26.99 if you guys are curious so definitely can't wait to wear this okay the next thing i got and y'all gonna see in the clip well it ain't even gonna be no clip because it did not fit i don't know what i was thinking i don't know if i thought my body had shrunk or something i was trying to be cute and be like oh since i lost a couple pounds i thought i was gonna be able to fit into this medium no ma'am this didn't even go past my hips um this is this cute rustic orange dress so i thought this was a sexy sexy dress to wear for going out to eat or something it has that cute rocher material on the side that helps to hug your hips and to bring it in and to make your booty look a little popping so unfortunately this did not fit like i said but i am going to try and take it back um to olive Olay and get a large because i got it in a medium and it was 27.99 if you guys are curious so i'm gonna add in a clip if i am able to get another size in it and show you guys what it looks like on but this is what it looks like so i was really disappointed because i wanted this dress to fit but you know like i said i'll add a clip in guys if i um, am able to take it back and get another size in it but for anybody else definitely a cute dress if you're looking for something to uh go to dinner in or a nice dress up dress you should check this one out and the last piece that i got from olive olay is my absolute favorite i've been looking for something like this for a while and i have not been able to find it and it is just this jean jumper jumper hopefully i said that correctly it fits so well on the body i'm so surprised every time i get like a jean material anything now it just never seems to fit the way i want it to so this is what it looks like it has a nice little sleeves up there kind of looks like a utility dress a little bit it came with this nice belt around it makes your butt look real nice pop it <coughs> you get that nice little zipper or whatever so you can zip it up the way you want to if you want to show a little cleavage or if you want to be on a little more conservative side you can i got a really really cute heel that i'm gonna rock with these i got these denim heels recently uh, well a couple weeks ago that i plan on rocking with these so i definitely definitely plan on popping out with this outfit soon with the spring and summer coming up so make sure you follow your girl on instagram moscato m-o-s-s-c-a-t-o so you guys can see how i dress this outfit up but this is going to be a really really cute outfit to pop out in the summer and i am in love with jean i love the way jean outfits look and yeah it's a nice stretchy material too so i'm super super glad that it was able to fit and this one was $28.99 if you guys are curious about the price. All right, y'all, so the next piece that I got is from uh, Pursuit. So um, I've been shopping with Pursuit a lot lately. They got um, a lot of good shoes in there or whatever. If you're in the 757 area, um, I just picked up the University Blue Ones uh, from there recently. If you guys want to check that video out, it'll be linked down below. I did a shoe review on them. Uh, so I picked up some more Jordans. I had special ordered these because I've been wanting to get these for a while, but um, couldn't find them um, online for a price that I wanted to pay, but I finally caved and um, they were selling them in the store and they weren't like too, too much, um, but they were so expensive more than what i wanted to pay i think i paid like 300 something but they um yeah special order for me so this is what the box looked like i might do an in-depth review on these two y'all let me know but i got the uh shatter backboard ones and these uh came out i feel like in october of last year so these are what they look like it's kind of like this pleather material and then they're orange and black so i thought these were super dope and I love that the um, bottom part is like an off-white instead of a regular white. So definitely, definitely, definitely plan on rocking these. Especially with the seasons about to change and stuff, you know. Definitely, definitely would have been a nice shoe to have in the fall, but it's all good. I'm going to still rock them now and make use out of them. Um, and I might add in a clip of me, you know, actually with these on my feet and stuff so you guys can see them. But if I don't, I might end up just doing like a full review on these if you guys want to check that out as well. But like I said, these are the shattered backboard ones. And I wear a four and a half if you're curious in kids and a six and a half in women. All right. 
right y'all that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this haul not sure what to call it because i don't want to say it's a spring haul because i did have some pieces in there that i felt like were uh fall or winter worthy but we're just gonna call it a random haul again or something like that um comment down below what are you guys favorite pieces or whatever like i said don't forget to follow your girl on instagram at moscato m-o-s-s-c-a-t-o -S 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 so you can see how i dress up some of these pieces um don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and if you made it all the way to this end of this video and you still ain't subscribed to the family honey what you waiting on okay make sure you go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below show your girl some love thank you guys so so much for watching me i appreciate y'all so much and as i always say thank you again and i will see you all in my next video bye y'all